Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, today is going to be a quick video. And no, I don't mean a quick video for me. I mean a literal quick video. I'm going to be smelling with you all for the first time the, well, they're new. I think they're new. The Truly Body Mist, because these have been out, these are perfume mists from Truly, and I have been waiting on these to where I could get them at Ulta for, it feels like, I don't know how many months. And then, you know, I caught them in stock on sale, and I purchased them a while ago, and, um... I haven't even smelled these, you all. I plan to smell them, wear them, and all that. But they are mist. And you if you've watched me, you know I am not... I don't just expect the world from a mist. So, I just wanted to do a casual video. Smell it with you. Smell them with you all. Because it's a hectic time right now. And I don't know when I'm going to get to, you know, hardcore test these out. But... What's important to me with the fragrance mist is how they smell. The, it, the longevity isn't as important to me. Um, I don't want it to disappear in the blink of an eye. But for me, I purchase fragrance mist to layer with my perfumes for the, you know, for the most part. And to touch up throughout the day because I don't like carrying perfumes with me. So... On that note, I don't even know which one I'm going to start with. It's three of them. You know, this is the one that I don't know what made them come up with this name, but we're going to start with it. And we're going to start with the one I'm most curious about last. So this is Birthday Sex. This has notes of rich jasmine and sweet saffron. I was saying, does it say anything else? No. This is how it looks. This comes with... 3.4 fluid ounces. I feel like these are glass bottles. So let's see you all. Let's see. Because these, when I was looking on Ulta, they were not getting great reviews. Um, so we're going to see. Okay, birthday sex smells like the Baccarat 540, the Cloud DNA. I mean, that's what it smells like. I have, I don't know how many of these. I mean, it smells good. It smells good. But yeah, if you smelled in, the, let's just name them, all the ones I can think of. If you smelled in the stars, if you smelled um, Baccarat Rouge 540, if you've smelled Charosa 68, if you've smelled, um, it's a couple from Victoria's Secret. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but the one, it's a couple. Uh, what else? Any of the cloud perfumes. Uh, yeah. That's what it smells like. I mean, it smells really good. I I can't I cannot. Which let me see which one of of the of the fragrances I mentioned does it smell closest to? I would say it's giving me a strong mixture of Charosa sixty eight and Cloud. But not as fruity. Think of Charosa 68 mixed with the original cloud, the first cloud from Ariana Grande. But it's an undertone in here. Maybe it's that saffron that I'm like, woo wee woo, it's kind of sexy. So I'm not mad at it because it does smell good. It's just that. I, ugh, do I have exactly this? I mean, the DNA is kind of different. And the more I'm smelling it, it's making me think also maybe if you want to throw in 
a little bonfire bash like from Bath and Body Works, a little by the fireplace. Just it's like a little smokiness coming out. Yeah. The more I keep smelling it, it's 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 cloud. That DNA, the 540 DNA with like by the fireplace, but light with with bonfire bash from Bath and Body Works too. So it's good. It's good. Did I need it? No. Am I going to use it? Yes. Now these, this one at least, the first one I'm smelling. It it does when I smell it. Okay. Sometimes you can smell a fragrance mist and it smells like a fragrance mist. This, they call it perfume mist. It is actually giving me, you know, because some fragrances, uh, like Carolina Herrera for Good Girl, she came out with a perfume body mist. It's, it, it is giving me a little elevated than just the traditional fragrance mist and it smells good um this is i think these retail for 20 23 i think um so pricey for 3.4 fluid ounces but i'm thinking it says it's a perfume mist you shouldn't have to use as much but i would just spray these like a regular body mist knowing me and then i would see how it performs and if i didn't need as much then i would adjust but is smelling potent the birthday sex is smelling potent it's smelling good but yeah if you are totally over that baccarat rouge 540 dna the clout dna and you don't want any more in your collection right now then this is one you can definitely pass on but if you can't get enough or if you don't exactly know what i'm talking about because i that fragrance DNA is hard to explain, but I think everyone for the most part kind of knows what I mean. I gave you some more references to, to help you see how it smells, but that's the easiest way for me to describe it. It has that, that Baccarat Rouge cloud DNA. So I do like it. Um, and we'll see what happens when I actually use it. Like I'm thinking I'm going to pair this with Bonfire Bash and see how it works because it does give me that, but with a little more oomph. So yeah, I like it. Birthday sex, that's the first one. The next one we're going to smell is called Ma Cherie, and it is described as a warm gourmand and black cherry. So I'm thinking this is supposed to smell like a sweet cherry scent. So let's see. I already used that one. So let's spray it and see, y'all. I was excited about this one. Ooh. Because I only have one, like, hardcore cherry mist. And that's my last one. The, um... Dang, why did it leave me? It's the one from Bath & Body Works. Sugar Cherry Crisp. And then I have Everlasting Magic that's close to it, but not quite it. The, why are these getting such bad review i want to, have to go back and read the reviews because it wasn't a lot but i can't remember what they said but i think these only got two or three stars maybe it was the longevity but these are smelling good and of quality and potent this smells like tom ford's lost cherry now let me tell you i have not smelled tom ford's lost cherry the original but i have smelled dupes of it and this smells like the dupes. Great to layer. It it does. It smells exactly like my, for the most part, the, y'all, oh my goodness. I can't think of the name. This is after work and I am running on empty. What is the name? Be layered. It smells like my Lost Cherry Belayer dupe that I have. Yeah, it smells good. So if you want, it doesn't smell overly tart. It smells, now it's not creamy can. it's not cherry candy like, but hold on. It's more of a dark, 
drippy, syrupy cherry with a little tartness, just a little bit of that, just a little bit. And it's not, but it's not super sweet either. It's just right. Now I will say this one to me, the Ma Cherry, or is that Ma Cherry? It is fading quicker than birthday sex. Like birthday sex, it's something about that doggone Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA be lasting um, when it's not paying that disappearing act on you. But yeah, this one is disappearing relatively quickly. I can still smell it, but keep in mind, I only sprayed one spray. But it does smell good. It does smell good. So, so far we're two for two for smelling good. So, Ma Cherry is a good cherry. It smells to me like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Okay, the last one we're going to smell is Glazed Donut. It has notes of toasted vanilla and buttercream. Okay. So let's smell this one, y'all. Now, I will say, before I even spray it, they made birthday sex and glazed donut practically identical. I do not know why they made these colors so close. It, I mean, I don't I don't know why they did that because I was looking like, did I get, making sure I didn't grab two of the same. Okay, this doesn't smell, you know that fragrance mist that everybody wish they would bring back from Bath & Body Works, Raspberry Jam Donut. It had a very prominent, dominant donut note where it smelled, you could smell that donut, okay? Glazed Donut from Truly is giving me a hint. It's giving me... What it says, glazed donut, is giving me the glaze. It, it is it's making me think donut, but don't think where you're gonna get a heavy donut note. It's giving me like you're smelling the donuts baking or cooling, but you're smelling more of the icing, more so than the donut. But I like it again, very light very light very faint so with these it's okay i can still smell the baccarat very strongly i want the birthday sex i can still smell the cherry but i can tell some the the cherry the ma cherry and the glazed donut you're gonna have to spray heavily oh but it's y'all i am gonna have to go look at the reviews again what I, they all smell so good to me. I mean, this glazed donut smells good. Like, it's a light gourmand. Don't think you're gonna spray this and you're gonna just walk around smelling like warm, like, what do you say, warm gourmand, well, toasted vanilla and buttercream. It does have a little toasty, like, it has like a crunch. It makes me think if donut crumbs with the, with the, the, the glaze, you know, the crumbs and mix it with the donuts. This is what it makes me think. Think of, it smells good. It smells light. It smells very pretty. It's, it's done in a way, okay. If you're someone who loves gourmand fragrances, but you tend to like gourmands like uh, Bath and Body Works, what is it called? Pecan waffles and caramel. Or syrup? Is it pecan waffles and maple syrup? Or if you like heavy, thick gourmand fragrances, you might hate this. If you like Kayali's um, Yum Pistachio, if you like that kind of gourmand, where it's not straight gourmand, but it's 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 airy, it's light, it it's not. Because to me, thick gourmands, they can be suffocating to me. But if that's your preference, you you probably wouldn't, you would think this is like, is this even here? But for me, this is so light, airy, a little creamy. 
it's perfection now this glazed donut feels like it's going to be a skin scent or it could be like i just recently purchased the vanilla musk perfume from the mat and I will never wear that as my only fragrance because it's going to need help. So what I've been doing, I have been just spraying it lightly as like a final, you know, finisher after I've done everything else. Like before I leave, I'll spray myself down with that perfume and I've been getting compliments. I've been loving the way I smell. And this is what I view Glazed Donut as. Like, this is making me want to get Ariana Grande's Ari back in my collection because that's the only perfume I know of that has, I think it has a donut note. It doesn't smell like donuts, but I've been missing that fragrance. And this is making me want to get it. And, you know, it's been some other things making me want to get it. But the way I'm enjoying this Glazed Donut, I do really like this. So y'all, I know these, the last time I checked, it's been a minute since I've looked at these on Ulta, since I finally got them, but they were not, the last time I saw the reviews, it was like two and a half stars. And I was like, well, I don't care because I'm going to get them because I'm interested in them and I can tell you all about them, my thoughts. So I have no regrets. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm going to have to go back and read the reviews. I'm thinking maybe it's the longevity on some. Maybe it's the price. Maybe it is this. It, maybe it's the actual fragrance for some people because Moss Charity and Glazed Donut are very faint. They're very light, but I can still smell them. Yeah. Woo. Yes. Now I can. Yeah. I can still smell them. The lightest, though, is Glazed Donut. It is the lightest. But I do like all of them. I like all of them. So now I'm going to rank them. So coming in at number three is going to be Birthday Sex because I have multiple fragrances with this DNA. Multiple fragrances and fragrance mist with this DNA. So this is just another one added. It's a good one. It smells good. It's strong. It's potent. It's present, but I will say, y'all, this one is, it's, it's something in this dry down. It's still got the Baccarat vibe, but it is changing. And it's getting, like I'm getting a pepperiness. It's making me think of that, the Baccarat DNA mixed in, like I've said, with the bonfire, the by the fireplace vibe so it's a little different but it's still within that scent dna that i do have multiples of so number three is birthday sex number two is going to be ma Cherie because i have i have this in perfume okay so I've smelled it before. It's nothing that was different for me, but am I upset about this one? No, because I would love to layer with this also because there are not a lot of cherry mist out there. Not that I know of. So number two, Ma Cherry. Number one is going to be Glazed Donut. Even though it's the lightest, even though it's the faintest, it's, oh, it's something in here. This is... Uh, the way I like a gourmand for me. I like to smell hints of it. I can't be engulfed thick with it. I, I just can't. Not Now in the shower I can, you know, th those type of products, but the, what I'm going to be smelling all day, I don't like it too, too, too strong. I just don't. And this is perfection for me just to t as a topper to, ooh, it's so good. It is so good. So Glazed Donut is number one. And like I said, I have no regrets purchasing these. And, you know, later on down the line, after I get a chance to actually wear them, I will update you all uh, in another video or maybe an empties video probably is where you'll get more reviews like that. Or if someone asks me in the comments, I'll let you know. But I, for the fragrance alone, because remember, that is what I'm purchasing fragrance mist for i'm not purchasing them to to perform like a perfume for me some can some fragrance mist can do that 
and and do, you know have the ability to but that is not what I'm looking for in a fragrance mist. I'm looking for how do you smell? That that's basically it. I want to know how you smell as a fragrance mist. Can I layer you? What do I like you enough? And all three of these, they're good. Now, if I had smelled these in store or if I didn't want to review all of these for you all, of course, birthday sex would have been left there because I have so many of this DNA. But again, I want to say it does not smell bad at all. I am not upset with this purchase at all. I will say because you get 3.4 fluid ounces and especially glazed donut is so light, you're going to have to spray heavily. I would suggest getting, which I suggest all Truly products that I've tried and I told you all about, I say get them up on sale. Get it with a coupon, get it at a discount, get it when they Ulta has it on sale because they're expensive because these are these are $23 if I remember correctly and it's 3.4 fluid ounces. So they're on par with uh, Sol de Janeiro because theirs are three ounces for 24 or $26 because I feel like they went up. So they're on par with the more expensive fragrance mist. Like there's some more fragrance mist that just came out at, at Sephora. I thought about getting them, smell them. It's something Vanilla Woods and is it Fleur? But they, the ones that were for this season, I was like, they, they smell like things I have. They were $20 for the three ounce. And then you have Skylark that came out. I think there's maybe four ounces or 3.4 ounces. There's a $30. So they're even more expensive than Sol de Janeiro. I was like, are you crazy? But, you know, so Fragrance Smiths, when you get on the, um, when you leave the Bath and Body Works, the Body Ecology, the Body Fantasies, the Vickies, you know, all the sales you can get and, and, and that, you get in the more ex on the expensive side when you're going to Ulta, when you're going to Sephora, looking at fragrance mists. So that's why I say get them with a discount because of the size and because how you will have to overspray with some of them. So you all, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you have tried any of the Truly Mints, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're interested in them at all. I would love to know. Please share this video with everyone, you all, because we're trying to keep it growing. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.